The tremors started subtly, a low rumble beneath Kaya's feet as she tended her crystal gardens. Xyler, the crimson sun, dipped towards the horizon, painting the cerulean skies in hues of lavender and rose. But the tremors grew, accompanied by a high-pitched whine that made Kaya's antennae twitch. Fear, a primal instinct rarely felt on their peaceful world, coiled in her gut. Then came the light. A blinding white spear ripped through the atmosphere, slamming into their sacred crystal lake. The once tranquil water exploded, showering the land in glittering shards and a deafening boom. Panic erupted. Shrill chirps echoed through the crystal caverns as the Xylarian, a peaceful race with translucent skin and bioluminescent markings, scrambled for shelter. Kaya, ever the pragmatist, knew hiding wouldn't save them. Legend spoke of the Zian, colossal spacefaring beings who harvested planets for their crystalline core. Fear turned to a steely resolve. She sprinted towards the central cavern, the heart of their communication network. Above, the Zian warship, a monstrous metallic behemoth, loomed over the trembling rock. Within its bridge, Commander Xylos watched with amusement. This tiny world, barely a speck in the vast expanse, held a core unlike any other. It resonated with a strange energy, pulsating with an almost life force. Prepare the extraction beam, Commander, rasped a skeletal figure beside Xylos, its eyes glowing with avarice. This was Zardan, the energy minister, his withered body sustained by stolen starlight. Suddenly, a shimmering barrier pulsed around the planet, deflecting an energy blast from the Zian ship. Confusion flickered across Xylo's reptilian face. What is this? From the surface, a network of bioluminescent lines, emanating from the crystal caverns, pulsed in unison, forming a shimmering dome. Kaya, at the heart of the network, channeled the collective energy of the Xylarians, their fear and defiance woven into the shield. Zardan cackled. They must be using those pathetic crystals of theirs. How quaint. Xylos, however, was wary. These primitives possessed a level of control over their crystals he wasn't prepared for. He ordered a full barrage. The Zian ship unleashed a torrent of energy blasts. But the Xylarian shield held, the crystals singing in defiance. Inside the caverns, the Xylarians, emboldened by their success, channeled their very life force into the barrier. Kaya, her bioluminescence a beacon of hope, felt a surge of energy course through her. The bombardment continued. The cavern walls shuddered, and the crystal gardens outside shimmered precariously. But the Xylarians wouldn't yield. Finally, with a screech that tore through the vacuum, the Zian warship retreated. The shield flickered and died, leaving behind an exhausted but victorious race. High above, Xylos watched the tiny speck of a planet recede into the distance. They, harnessed the crystal's energy, as a weapon. Zardan, now pale with fury, slammed his bony fist on the console. We'll be back. They won't be so lucky next time. But Xylos wasn't so sure. He had underestimated these crystalline beings. Perhaps, there was more to this tiny rock than met the eye. As Xyler rose over the horizon, bathing the planet in a warm red glow, Kaya looked up with newfound pride. They were small, but their spirit, like their crystals, burned bright. The legend of the Zian would forever serve as a reminder, even the smallest spark could ignite a fire that could challenge the greatest darkness.